Hi, welcome to this um, video series about exporting our drawings from Vectorworks into ETC EOS 3D or Augment 3D. Um, and we will then be able to control our fixtures um, and play with them in a virtual environment. So uh, there's a couple of things that we should go over. This first import that we're going to do um, requires that only lighting information be displayed on screen. <coughs> the um, export feature will take anything that is shown on screen and export it. And we just need to be very careful that we're putting the correct information out. So all lighting symbols <coughs> must be displayed on the screen. All of our um, the techno beams in the back, the moving lights, our LED fixtures and then all of our conventional fixtures. In addition to that, we want to make sure that we have the text information surrounding the fixtures. Most importantly is the channel number. Without the channel number displayed correctly, the fixture will not import. Um, so um, the channel number is a, essential. I strongly recommend the other information be included the um, purpose, the address, or the dimmer, depending on the type of fixture, um, and any color designations that are assigned. We have a few fixtures that are showing some color. In addition to that, we're um, going to want to make sure that our focus points are displayed. Other than that, everything else needs to be off. We want to make sure that we turn off all other geometry whether that is um, any lighting pipes or the floor or the walls or whatever you need to do in order to get your drawing to look like this. Once you have your drawing in this configuration, it is, it's important that you do a save. So we'll just do a file and we'll save that drawing as it is. After you have it looking like this, go ahead and save it. And then we're going to go to Spotlight and then the instructions were provided to be able to add this plugin, the Export Augment 3D plugin, and it should be placed right at the top of your Spotlight menu, but you may have placed it elsewhere. Um, and I'm just going to click on that, and it's going to ask to save a file. You cannot save this file to cloud storage. The Lightboard won't look to cloud storage. It will only look to the hard drive. Um, so what I've done is decided to just save it onto my desktop and I will do a save and I already had one so now I'm replacing it and if I were to go in and take a look um, let's see it's right here it's the light lab it had the same name light lab drafting class yours may have a slightly different name but this is the file that was created and it is a, a dot a 3d file type right so we have now exported uh, a file and we're ready to import and we'll work on that in the next video